All right, let's talk tequila. Love me some Patron tequila. Tastes really good coming out of a barrel. You don't have to use Patron. I do like the uh, a little bit of the nicer ends, the Don Julio's, Patrons, and whatnot. But you can choose an inexpensive. I do suggest a 100% agave tequila uh, to put in the barrel. I like to keep mine in my tequila windmill. This is a three liter barrel, a little bit of a different shape and obviously set up because the spigot is in the side, the bung is in the top. We also have the shot glass carousel on the bottom. You can put an Añejo or a Reposado or even an extra Añejo tequila in the barrel. Um, either way, I've done it all. Obviously, anything that's already been aged is already getting a head start on your barrel or if you just want to start with a silver something that's been unaged a white tequila you can do that as well um, basically a reposado is a tequila that's been aged for less than one year in an oak barrel and these barrels of course are normally larger than the small barrels that we've got and uh, a Reposado uh, has been aged, as I said, less than a year. And Yeho, over a year, but less than three years. And over three years, an extra and Yeho, if you really like that, uh, that type of flavoring. I do, and some people don't. It just really depends on how you're drinking your tequila. If you're mixing it in margaritas, it may be you like it one way. If you're sipping it or shooting it you may like it another but one of the things that I like to do is I like a little bit of extra vanilla flavoring in it so what I do is I buy vanilla beans and I'll buy several at a time and then what I'll do is you can put it in the barrel just like this I like to cut it open I'll actually cut the length of the bean and split it open and really get that vanilla flavor into in a barrel that size I'll put two vanilla beans in it and also too I'll crush a few coffee beans and put that in there just for a little bit of that flavor uh, I'm not even a coffee drinker but I do like a little bit of that flavor in there so let me know what you're doing with your tequila and maybe we'll exchange some stories and maybe I'll try what you're doing if it sounds good